What's up, everyone? This is a Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Ukulele! Last time, we started to explore the expanded version of Tribal Sack Tropics. We met a fellow indie game character in the form of Shovel Knight, and we beat up a demon wall. Because, of course, there's demon walls. In this episode, we are going to continue to progress onward into the new area that is here. Uh, ooh. Okay. Just get up here as high as we can. Oh. Oh, jeez, that's a homing missile? Okay, well, that sucks. And unfortunately, it brings me back to the very beginning because it only registers any actual, like, screen transitions. That's cool. Still have no idea where the freaking night is. But whatever. There's something over this way that we can do, so let's go ahead and just head on over there. Um. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on. Unfortunately. Oh no, it actually stayed! Cool. Damn it. Okay. Jerks! Wow! Those guys are huge jerks! Like, how am I supposed to get rid of them? The stun doesn't take too long, and there's so many of them! It's not like there's any fruit that I can use. Okay, there's a flower, but the flower isn't going to tell me jack all because I am a chameleon. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there might be a PG in there. That's what I was hearing. Okay. These jerks! Okay, so it seems like it's not just... Thankfully, when I get hit... Oh! They just levitate! They levitate and they don't remain vulnerable for long and they move fast! There we go! Yikes! Why are killing these guys such a pain? <sighs> At least they always seem to give a butterfly when they die. So that's nice. I guess the intent was just to avoid them, not to necessarily kill them. But whatever, I killed them and I got myself a pagey. Get myself another butterfly for my efforts. Um, I'm not sure about the best way of getting up there. Oh, okay, thank goodness. This isn't death. And there is a very simple way to get back up here. Very helpful. 
Okay, if we can maybe get to that quill, that would be super nice. Um, is it really that simple? I guess it was. Okay, well, that wasn't too bad. Um, nope. Ah, damn it. Okay, I know they mentioned that there were some of these flowers that said that there were some bonus things. Um. Ooh. That guy's eye looks very creepy. Also very suspicious. But yeah, the flowers did mention that there were like the health extenders and the and the uh, power extenders. Uh, it might be helpful if I took another uh, talk to them. That way I can at least get some idea as to where it is that I'm looking for. Um, I think there was a flower. Was there another flower? Over this way, I believe. Because, yeah, I want to try to get all the collectibles, you know, that there are. Kind of the intent. So, anything to potentially help me out would be super nice. If I have to go in this slow form, so be it. Hey, Hotness, don't tell that lizard map. There's a butterfly booster in halfway up the monument in the expanded version of this world. Halfway up the monument. But that's where I was at before. Actually, I don't think I went in through the front door. I think I went over to the side area. So... Let's get out of this form. There we go. And then let's maybe try to head in here. Because I don't believe we actually went in this way. Inside the monument. I have to be a flower? I have to be a flower? Oh shoot, I, I'm gonna have to be a flower, don't I? Well, I'll be back. Okay, so now that I'm a flower, will I be admitted now? What? So, it has nothing to do with being a flower. I have to be invisible, don't I? I think I saw something about, like, maybe it was one of the tonics mentioned something about Yuka becoming invisible. So that might be what it's talking about. Okay. Ah, this is gonna be a little bit irritating. That I need to go with a lot of power-ups that would be later on in the game to finish off this one. I mean, it makes me kind of wonder if I should just, you know, go back to, like, World 2 and just kind of start there. Because I'm... Because I know I can't finish everything. Um... Yeah, that's the problem. I can't finish everything. So that's going to be a problem. And I won't know if I have enough to finish everything. Fortunately, there are winds up there, and... There's not going... I don't think I have anything to really stop that. This is where I started from. And I'm still missing two Ghost Riders. It'd be weird if both of them were up here. Uh, but I did not go this way. So maybe there's one over this way. Or maybe it'll lead me to the same place. Uh, 
Uh, well, it did not lead me to the same place. Okay. So, let's grab these quills. Ow. Interesting. This is very interesting. So, pushing this just changes where this leads me. <laughs> Mr. Blowy gasping for drink. Throat all dry from hard days puffing. Ow. Can I reach him from here? I'm not sure if that's actually reaching him or not. I don't think it was. Uh, so let's go ahead. Push this. Get a heck of a lot closer to the guy. Good enough. Go up and fire. There we go. Ugh, water. Mr. Blowy can finally continue his job. Blowing air in a linear direction. Not much of a job, is it? Beats cleaning the streets. Cool. Well, at least we're making some progress. The more pages we get, the better. Okay, where is this taking us? Oh. Why on earth would you need that? Like, there doesn't seem to be much of a purpose for that in particular. Especially when you could just get it from the height that I was able to reach it at. Uh, okay, so that looks like a potential way to go for progression. What is on the other side? Especially over there. Okay, there's a quill over here. There's some guys over there. Lots of quills, actually. Okay, cool. Uh, more places to go. Cool. Oh, no. Definitely not going to make that. Um, I can make that, though. Easily. Three for one. Okay, so there's another pagey. Hey, come to enjoy the view. Nope. We've come to collect the... You! To free me, you'll have to complete this course by gliding through the hoops. Don't ask why, it's just the way they do things up at these uh, altitudes. Good luck and try not to look down! Okay. Um, well, let's get the quills while we're at it. Gotta watch out for those guys. That's gonna be annoying really quickly. Alright. Thankfully, I have the glide ability. So I can at the very least do this. Really? Like, my glide just immediately stopped. I thought it was probably because I landed on the other ones. That's what allowed me to keep on going through those. Well, damn it. Also, I'm surprised the height from that didn't immediately kill me when a different height that seemed much lower did. Okay, well, 
Go ahead and go on over. Grab the butterfly. Hopefully not die. Thank you for allowing me to go onward without going through all that dialogue. Okay, let's try this again with less failure. Yeah, I mean, they kind of have a bit of a shot blast to them. But the good thing is it doesn't look like I'm timed. Which is helpful. All right. Thankfully, that was a big risk I took right there. But it looks like I did it. Or not. There's still more. Great. Cool. Fantastic. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Neat. Jump in, grab the pagey, and we can get going. Okay, so I guess there's two different ways that we could progress through this. There's still that other way, but because of the wind, we can't exactly do anything. So, because this is quicker, let's go. All right, where are we now? Um, that's a good question. Oh, great, more eyeballs. Hey. Hey. Damn it. I wanted to eat it, but I wasn't sure if the eyeballs would still be there. Yeah, whatever. Um, I guess I go down from here. I suppose. Yeah. Hey. All right. Hey. Kill the eyeballs. Grab the butterfly. Heal up a little bit. Um. Anything else worth? Uh, not over there. It would about this way. Quills. Looks like more eyeballs. I guess I'm finding where all my missing quills are. Oh, hey! It's one of the Ghost Riders! Yeah. Oh, God! Hey. Ah. Yeah. So I gotta hit him when he's orange. But this Ghost Rider, I gotta beat up. Hey, hey. There we go. All right. Took a little bit of oomph to get that, but whatever. Uh, ooh, what is, that's a big cloud. Okay, well, I'm glad we got to the Ghost Rider. Getting all these quills. We got ourselves a giant cloud right here. Well, first things first, I'm grabbing these quills. Are not. Hmm. Hello, I'm Nimbo, world's big cloud. Hi, Nimbo. I assume you're the guy to talk about weather related business? Hmm. Smart lizard. Nimbo transform world. Leak water stream below. Hmm. But Nimbo has a problem. Not leaking well right now. Nimbo's been a bag of nerves since wife left him for that typhoon. Try and relax, Nimbo. Think of a trickling waterfall or a running tap. Hmm. No good. Lizard and bat cause stage fright. Perhaps visitors can help provide some stimulation? Come on then, Laylee, let's help Nimbo release his water. As long as you wash your hands afterwards. 
The wording on this is just weird. Okay, so there are ice flowers. These are water flowers. And fire flowers? Okay. How close am I to getting all the quills, by the way? Uh, still a little ways off. Okay, so what exactly do we need? Because there's three types of flowers here. Well, I'm glad I can walk on him. Uh, well, if he needs water... Maybe with water power... We'll flood the area. That vapor went straight through Nimbo. Oh! Interesting. So... That changes, like, properties of, like, everything down here. What about ice? Hmm, Nimbo's relieved to get that out. So that freezes everything. Okay. Interesting. And out of curiosity's sake, or does fire just make him dry? I was gonna say it's like, oh, it's going to turn everything into like lava, but. Nimbo's been holding that for ages. Okay, I guess it just turns into different elements? Because now it's just water again. But if I use fire again... I assume that dries up everything. Nimbo is immensely satisfied. Yeah, and that just dries up everything. Okay. So, very interesting. Then what is... So that... Okay. Interesting. I'm kind of tempted to not go down yet. There's another place up here that I want to explore. And messing with the properties of the world, um, I think might be better suited to do that, like, at the end of all this. So let's get back up to uh, where we started from. Screw you, little eyeballs. And we can try to see what else is up here. Because I would very much like to weigh all my options before really messing with the area. So I'm kind of wondering exactly like, the great benefits there would be for, like... Oh, hey! Nice! You unlocked a new tonic! Come pay me a visit! Oh, cool. Anyway, uh... I'm kind of wondering what exactly those different properties will do. Probably would be needed for both to get a pagey. Oh boy, we're inside the monument again. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Hey. All right. Well, this is an end then. So that's the end of where that sort of thing leads me to. And I'm wondering if I could get up there. Hmm. I kind of doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a go. This is 
is stupid. This is very stupid and probably not going to accomplish me anything whatsoever. Yeah, I can't get up there. Unless I can get up on this fern. Which I can't. Blast! Yeah, I figured maybe like one of the extensions was like hiding up here somewhere. Pretty sure one of the, at least one of the extensions is. Uh, but there's not exactly a good indication on where exactly it is. Alright, well, in that case, let's head back to Nimbo. And let's change the properties of the level below. Back to Nimbo! Away! <laughs> trying to look through every nook and cranny to see if there's any sort of extension. But what I'm going to try to do is I am going to try to freeze everything. Uh, I guess I can't do ice without water then. <laughs> Okay, well, simple enough. Oh, that's not good. Oh, thank goodness, there's no current. I was really scared there for a second. So I don't think the water is really going to help me all that much at that particular spot. Though I can see that... I can see the water helping me out in some way. Okay. So let's try ice. And see what this does. Okay. So with this open, let's go ahead and go on through. Where exactly does that lead us to? Oh! Okay, cool. I'm not entirely sure what having everything, like, being ice does for us. Um... Suppose that helps do that. Um, I mean, there needs to be a purpose with all this. So, hopefully it becomes apparent? I wonder if there's a new race. My racetrack, it's rock solid! That's probably something to do with the cold we gave your uncle. Oh, a strong cumulonimbus like him will be just fine. What say we take advantage and have ourselves a nice race? I guess? We're not afraid of icy track conditions, especially since I won't be the one touching the floor. I wonder if this is just a different way to do the races. I'm actually wondering how this is going to work. Oh god. It makes it harder, that's for sure. Especially with the clown pushing me into the side. Jeez. Okay, well, this is just like how it was in the very beginning of the series. Try to get through as much as possible. Yeesh, that depth perception is not super favorable. Also, these butterflies make a lot more sense now as to why they're there. Yeah, it's almost like a completely different race, actually. 
So I'm wondering if maybe there are just three different races. And the imaginary crowd goes wild. Yes, this doesn't affect your grip. Oh, my grip is very strong in all surfaces. Maybe you have time for another go? Sure. Yikes. That ice is not favorable in the slightest. What the? Darn those butterflies! Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not sure I'm able to catch up to this stupid cloud. But I don't see myself like... I feel like I'm doing things right and the clouds still get super far ahead. Like, how am I... How am I supposed to catch up? How am I supposed to catch up? This cloud is really freaking fast and I don't... I feel like I just go slower. Especially at the start. Hmm. I think that is my way to victory. I have a lot more control when I'm already in the air. Unfortunately, it works the same as before. I, uh, I get behind and there's no way to catch up. So I had to jump a lot more because that's how I get a lot more control. Yeah, I get a lot more control just bouncing like that. Well, so much for that. Thankfully, the cloud finished. Oh, it's still counted as a death. Well, thankfully, the cloud is like... Oh, boy, the cloud's a little bit further away. Okay, but at the very least, I know the secret to beat the cloud. So, I guess we'll go with a death montage, and then we will go ahead and call it. So, let me get back to this stupid cloud and we can race them again. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're hiding. Alright, let's give this another go. I roll, Nimble. Well done! 
Here's your paper-based gold medal. May you treasure it forever. Not likely. We'll be spending this one on more world shortly. And it poots out another pagey. Awesome. So that was actually needed. Kind of figured as much. Uh, however, I think we're probably good to call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Ukulele! I'm not entirely sure what a water-based race would entail. If that's even possible. Uh, but... We may try to take a look at that real quick before trying to head on over to a different world. I think we've gotten most of the things that we're going to be able to get done at the moment. Uh, I mean, we've done pretty well for ourselves. Um, we're still missing quite a bit, though. But I think there are a couple areas that we just don't have access to. And so that makes things a little bit more complicated. Anyway, what exactly do we have? Baller? Roll move uses less power. Well, you know, that would have been super helpful in that race just now. Well, at the very least. At the very least, I did it legit, so that's cool. But anyway, we'll see what exactly transforming this whole area into water means. And then, after we test that out, I think we're probably good to check out the next world. Uh, ooh. Hello there, Quills. Hmm. I want to get those real quick. Because I see them. I want them. I don't think I can get them this way. Jerk. Yeah, you better run. Okay, so what is the way to go about this? Um, that is an excellent question. You know, it probably has to do with these guys. So let's maybe try to do that, get those quills, and then, until next time, everyone, take care, assuming... Aha! Eat it, level design! Perfect! Alright, three more quills added to the collection. Alright, so for real this time, until next time, everyone, take care.